Hey traders, it's 40 minutes past 2 p.m. here in Brisbane on Monday, the 5th of February, and I am looking to pick up a fight with the Aussie dollar. So let me share with you my fight plan for this opponent, what I like about this one, and what I'm watching for. So on Friday, we got better than expected non farm payrolls number, and we saw a strengthening of the US dollar, but we also seen a weakening Australian dollar across its trading partners. So I want to start here with the daily chart and what we can see on the daily chart is that the sellers have been in control for a while now. We had this sideway activity for a couple of days and then we broke lower. So we are moving here into buyer's territory and that usually is a cause for concern for me. But if I'll take a look here on the monthly chart, we can see that that big uptrend that we had there on the daily chart is simply a pullback here in the context of the monthly so the monthly is still pushing lower we're making here lower highs and this big pullback it was a strong pullback almost to the 100 percent but it couldn't break that high and then it printed a lower high so coming back into the daily yes the seller have been in control for a while but this push that we're seeing here is the pullback but it doesn't mean that i shouldn't be careful from whatever buyers are still sitting around this area so what i'm looking for is really a pullback back into this area around this busy level now the other element that i like about this and let's just go back in time a bit we can see this level this black line so on the way down it was a touch and another touch we went lower went sideways for a while popped higher and touched that level and then reacted pretty quickly came back broke it but couldn't close above it pull back made a higher low and then broke and skedaddled to a higher high so if we go back into this area we can see it was tested over here was tested another time here ended up with a higher high tested here couldn't go any higher broke through it then come back inside and then made a lower low so i like that this level has been reacted to already now let's go down into the four hours so we can see on the four hours this area of sideways 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 this is the break lower came back fast but once again couldn't go any higher and I actually like this when we have this very deep pullback and a strong reaction so we can see around this green line there's a couple of weeks a couple of touches at that area but there's also an area a little bit above it so I'm going to look at this area for a potential area for my offense and if I'll take the Fibonacci retracement of this latest move so from the high into the low we can see that the area that i'm looking at those weeks around here is in and around the 50 percent retracement and the top area is in and around the 61.8 percent retracement so it's a nice area to have the market releasing some of this selling pressure too and then i'll be looking for signs of rollover so what i'm going to do because of where we're sitting there on that wave i'm looking for confirmation from from the sellers that they are ready to take over if and when we'll get that pullback now going back into the daily we could even continue a little bit lower and then looking for that pullback but i'm not looking to enter around here we already had that push i don't want to chase the market i want to look for areas that i can take the upper hand so that's why i'm waiting for this pullback if the market will continue if i won't have that pullback then i won't have much to do with this one so this is the idea behind a fight plan there's something that i would like to do there's a plan that i have in mind but the situation can change the condition may change this opponent might decide to get really strong go on steroid and change direction so i have to duck and weave and change my plan in accordance so when there is something to do when something is cooking up then I'll be releasing an update video. So coming back to this opponent, the area that I am looking at for a potential offense is in and around the 6550 area. It could be a little bit higher. Then I'll be looking for the point swing 
at this area that the market had pulled back into so the blue line in and around the 6470 area and for the knockout i'll be looking at the area that had the origin of the move that went to this higher high and that will be around the 0 0.64 level happy knockouts everyone bye for now